part five triple threat match Cesaro versus Jack Swagger versus Rob Van Dam. Jack Swagger gets eliminated first, and Cesaro wins via pinfall after a pretty decent spot where um, RVD misses a frog splash and Cesaro hits a neutralizer on a trash can. The actual only neutralizer I can think of that looked like it would fucking hurt as bad as it should have been for a finisher. I'm not a big fan of the neutralizer, and I still think that the swing is cool and the uppercut is his top move. But this was a lot better than I expected it to be. I actually liked this match, and maybe that's because Cesaro was really the focal point of the whole thing, and it wasn't just RVD. Maybe Swagger being involved kind of offset RVD. I don't know what the case is, but whatever uh, ended up contributing to this being a better match, I thought that it was actually pretty entertaining, and with the We All See match being better than I expected, and then this one, we were on for a pretty decent roll. So... Kudos to those guys for pulling this off. And uh, I really like the uh, beginning of it with Paul Heyman cutting the promo where he says about the uh, WWE only gets uh, it right once a year when they go extreme and then pulls out the uh, the 11th commandment of the extreme is thou shalt not boo Paul Heyman. (laughs) Uh I thought that that was actually pretty interesting. So circle again, Sean, triple threat match. Your thoughts? This was one of the matches I actually enjoyed. Did they announce beforehand it was going to be Elimination or no? I think that they said it, like, on SmackDown or something. Ah, right, because that surprised me. I was like, what the fuck? But RVD won. But considering there were so many botches in this fucking match, all thanks to RVD, he mistimed his rolling thunder. Did anybody catch that or no? That's been the case for most RVD matches since he's returned. It was so bad to watch. It was good. <laughs> Miguel? Didn't watch it, but they made the right decision on having Cesaro go over. There's no reason for RVD to get the win. and uh, Jack Swag. You know what? I'm going to say this. I've been watching old Real Americans footage. I'm, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of Jack Swagger and the whole Real American gimmick, but I, I don't. he doesn't need to win this matchup. Not yet. Way to go. A uh, fantastic showing from all three, in my opinion. They worked really well together. I'm not a big fan of Jack Swagger, but he did his part here, and the right man went over tonight. So, well, that night. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Drew? Eh, it was okay. <laughs> Payton? <coughs> well, at least he's not sneezing. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think I swallowed a bug or something. <laughs> what just happened? <coughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. all you did. You're, no, sorry. You're sorry. I ser- You're sorry. No, I, I, seriously, <laughs> I seriously had like something get caught up in my throat. That was fucking shitty. <laughs> all right. Uh, this match actually was my least favorite match of the night. I don't know if it was because it was after that awesome WLC match or what it was, but I just did not find myself invested in this at all. Uh, I was mortified by Jack Swagger's presence. I didn't care at all about Rob Van Dam, and Cesaro's music just pissed me off. Uh, The best thing about the whole match was Paul Heyman's bit before it, because he got to say that his client Brock Lesnar conquered the streak. Wait, wait. Wait, what? What happened? Yeah, you didn't hear? Yeah, Brock. Oh, man. Paul Heyman's client, Brock Lesnar. Important that it's Brock Lesnar. It wasn't CM Punk. It it wasn't Curtis Waxel. It was Brock Lesnar. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I thought they screwed. I thought they screwed Taker. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. Miguel makes his joke. Everyone shits on him, but fucking everyone plays along with it now. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to move on here. Handicap match Alexander Potato versus R Truth and Xavier Woods. <laughs> 